Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And this week we're going to be going back into Final Fantasy X, some comfort game after the spooky streams we've been having for um, for Doki Doki Literature Club. Speaking of which, uh, if you go and click down on the channel point redeems, you'll see that I have a, um, a challenge set up for us to uh, play the rest of Doki Doki Literature Club. So I did some research. I played a lot more on my own. I found out um, there's there's a little bit more to the game that we can play and still get some good content out of. Now, this part three that we do won't be blind, of course, like the first two, but there's still like um, quite a bit more to the story. And I think we can do it all in uh, in one stream. And I had a couple requests. Kitty, you're included in that. Welcome in, by the way, Kitty. Um, I had a couple requests to play a bit more of it. So I think some of you guys knew there was more or suspected there was more. I mean, I suspect that there was more too, but I didn't really know quite how much or how much time it would dedicate. But I think we could do it all in one more stream. So if you guys would like to see that, then contribute your points into that challenge. And we will play the last part of Doki Doki. Um, after we finish Final Fantasy X. Oh, Koneko! Welcome! Welcome in, Koneko. How are you doing today? <laughs> All right. So that's the first little announcement that I had. Oh, hey, Lunar! Welcome in! Um, okay, so that's the first little announcement that I had for we're going to do that challenge. So if you guys meet that, we'll play the last part of Doki Doki Literature Club more done with Final Fantasy X. We will probably be finishing Final Fantasy X somewhere around the end of this year. I think sometime in December will probably end up being our our, uh, our last official Final Fantasy X stream. And then after that, there is more bonus content you can do. Um, but we'll kind of do that a little bit here, a little bit there. You know what I mean? Um, so the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that I was included in the latest wave of people getting the follower emotes unlocked. So I have those now, which means I've ordered a whole bunch more emotes from the artists that I like to commission all of my emotes from. Um, so until I get those new orders in, I've moved a bunch of my emotes over into the follower section. So you guys can use those just for following. You don't have to subscribe. Now, the only thing with the follower emotes is that um, you can only use them on my stream. So you can't use them in another person's stream. So like I, have, I had to put the raid emote in the tier list, for example, and, and stuff like that. Doki Doki was too much for me, so I had to skip those streams. Totally understand, Koneko. Doki Doki was a lot. <laughs> I wonder why you're not on my follow list anymore. What does that mean, Lunar? What do you mean? Like, I'm not following you anymore? I'm definitely following you, girl. Let me go check that shit right now. Yeah, following since July 2020. You crazy. Not on your follower list. Please. I would never stop following you, Lunar. <laughs> Um, so I have follow emotes now, and um, I uh, and and those are all moved around. Now I'll move them around all again. Then whenever um, I get the new ones in, because of that quirk of the follower emotes that you can't use them in other streams, and um, and so I'll, I'll make sure that the ones that are the follower emotes are ones that you would only want to use on my stream. That there isn't a reason you might want to use them on someone else's stream. So I'll set that all up. No, you're not on my follow channel on the side of the screen. Oh. Maybe it's just not quite updated yet because the stream just started. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> I thought you meant like you couldn't see that I was following you anymore. Be like, I better fix that. I don't think Twitch, uh, I've never had the experience with Twitch where I was automatically unfollowed from somebody. Um, I'm sure that that happens because I know they clear out bots and stuff, but I've never experienced Twitch thinking I was a bot and like unfollowing me automatically from people. <laughs> All right, so um, so all that being said, you guys know how we like to start out these streams. We like to start out with a little personality quiz. And today, which Marauders era character are you is what we're doing because on Interstage Window on Saturday, we're gonna be talking about Marauders era characters and, uh, and the Marauders fandom and um, mine and Landon's experiences in it and a bunch of our headcanons for uh, Remus, Sirius, James, Peter, Lily, um, the end, and yeah, and Snape, probably not Marlene. We might talk about Regulus a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, the follow channel things derp sometimes. Refreshing the page might help. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so let's start this quiz. No, I don't want to save anything. Stop it, okay. Pick a shitty coping mechanism. Don't mind if I do. Um, yelling into the abyss. 
punching anything that moves, pretending that everything is fine. <laughs> Self-deprecating humor. Let's pretend everything is fine. It's fine, you guys. Let's do that. We'll just we'll pretend. It'll be okay. What were you bullied for in high school? I was annoying as fuck. Oh, that's probably the answer. But let's see what the others are. No one ever paid me enough attention to bully me, to be honest. You fool. It was me that did the bullying. Uh, for being the slightest bit different than everyone else. I had a normal high school experience. Do you guys need help? Should I call someone? What the heck is a normal high school experience? I don't even know. I know why I was bullied. It's because I was annoying. All children are annoying. I was no exception. <laughs> I do too. These questions are great. Uh, what's your ideal day slash night? Uh, beach day, running in the waves, salty air, ice cream, finding seashells, walking on the shore. I'm feeling sand between your toes. I do love a good beach. A uh, night out at a concert, screaming until you go hoarse, flashing colors, adrenaline rush, dance until dancing until you drop. Nah. Uh, morning in the village, wandering around the shop, smelling coffee and pastries, getting lost in a book, enjoying your own company. Oh, that sounds nice. Uh, board games with friends. Oh, this is probably the one for me. Distraction from your thoughts and insecurities, being with people you love the most, staying up late, junk food. Boom. That's the answer right there. Bold of you to assume that I'm straight, that I'm okay that I have dignity. Bolt of you to assume that I have dignity. I do not. <laughs> um, are you part of the LGBTQ plus community? Yes, no, wouldn't you like to know? Ha <laughs> ha, you think I know. I don't know, I mean, I go I go back and forth on a lot of this stuff. I have had a um, vast majority of my life had a very uh, cishet experience. Um, but you know, we, we all have we all have these little things. Uh, I don't think anyone is perfectly uh, straight or or cis or anything like that. I, I definitely believe in the in the middle numbers of the Kinsey scale. So we're gonna mark that because so I don't want to say I definitely don't want to say yes, but I don't want to give a hard no either. Uh, how honest are you about your opinions? I have no filter. <laughs> Depends on where I am and who I am around. Oh, who did you get, Koneko? Tell us. Um. I say what I think, but I know when to shut up. I prefer to listen and observe before I speak. I definitely say what I think, but I, I try to shut up when the time is right. What do you do in your free time? Draw, beat people up, <laughs> daydream, bother my friends, blast my music, homework, workout. Definitely day out of this list, daydream is probably the closest to what I do. Who are you beating up first? Snape, Dumbledore, Umbridge, Breath, Pettigrew, <laughs> Umbridge, <laughs> Lunar, you got Severus? Oh, Karnaka, you got Marlene. Y'all paste in what it says for those characters. I'm curious. We're definitely beating up Umbridge first. I love Umbridge, but I love her because she's so awful. What's your relationship with your parents? They're the best. We have our ups and downs. Please know. Um, I mean, they're not the best. Like, they're human. You know, they're not perfect. <laughs> but they're good. I mean, I like my parents. So I, This is the closest, I think. Mine says I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lunar. Hey, but at least you have um, a, a legion of internet wives. You know, Google Snape wives if you, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about and have some fun reading about that. <clears throat> I'm still intent until I have to done eating takeout. Oh, okay, okay. What are you having uh, for your takeout, kitty? What's your biggest fear? Rejection from loved ones, losing the ones I love, being alone, being powerless and insignificant. Probably being alone. Oh, Koneko, okay, this is for Marlene. You have a strong belief system about the world. You recognize both good and bad in the world and choose to remain positive as you fight against the evil. You see the good in everyone and are a pretty optimistic person. You're ambitious, loyal, confident, sweet, sassy, brave, intelligent, fierce, and not afraid to back down at a challenge. You probably have a million hobbies and are really good at all of them. I know how much you love your friends and it's important to take care of yourself. Oh, I like that one, Koneko. Oh, Chinese food. We don't have a lot of good Chinese food around me. It makes me really sad. Most of our Chinese takeout that's close to me is really bad. Um, how do you view the world? Shades of gray. Everything is a mix of black and white. There is no good or evil. There is only power and those too weak to seek it. Yikes. Some things are good, some bad, some hard to tell. I have no fucking clue. Definitely shades of gray. I think that everybody is a product of the system that they live in and and that's that about that are you in a relationship i wish yes no thank you not yet yes what time do you usually go to bed 9 to 10 11 to 12 12 to 2 2 to 5 sorry what was the question 
<laughs> 9 to 10. I'm a pretty early bedtime person. What's your opinion about yourself? I'm a failure. Oh, no. I'm a monster. That's the Remus answer, I guess. I'm just taking it one step at a time. I'm living life on the edge, hoping I don't break. Oh, gosh. Honestly, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> one step at a time. One step at a time. Okay, you know we don't answer. We don't do these. Tell me anything. Yeah, I don't Whatever. I'm not typing all that. I got, I got Jamie, Jimmy P, James Potter. Okay, let's see. You have a strong belief system about the world. You recognize both good and bad in the world and choose to remain positive as you fight against evil. You are the class clown and will do anything to make someone smile. Aw, you might not like to admit it, but you're definitely a simp. <laughs> you're the best friend that anyone can ever ask for and you know exactly how to handle a time of crisis. You're a prank master and you're exceptionally good natured, kind hearted and loyal. Remember that you're just doing the best you can, just like everyone else. As much as your friends may rely on you, you're also allowed to break down every now and then. Aww, okay. No, I think that fits. Based on the description, I think that fits. For Marauder's characters, it really it really has to go with fandom and, and headcanon, because there really isn't much uh, in the canon, of course, about these characters. So, you know, this was nice. I, I like this description. Um, we've got, okay, most people get Sirius Black or then Regulus. Lily, Remus, James, Severus, Marlene. Oh, most people do not get Peter Pettigrew. And uh, Marlene's a pretty rare answer too, Koneko, so that's crazy. Yeah, I like this one for me, Kitty. Well, Kitty, you'll have to tell us what you get whenever, um, whenever you take it, after you eat. Okay, that being said, let's switch over to Final Fantasy is an RPG. Okay, find the game. Oh, it's because it's set to Doki Doki. Here we go. All right, let's turn up the volume. Just look at how loud that is. That looks right to me. You'll tell me if that sounds right. Okay. Okay, and if you remember from last time, my controller back on, we are doing this tournament for the Auroch Reels. And I'm going to save scum the hell out of this because we're not going to miss it. Okay, and the tournament's only three games, so we just have to win. We just have to win the three games. All right, who are we going against first? Where are we? Oh, Luku Goers. Okay, we can do it. It's been a minute since I've lost a quid a Quidditch <laughs> blitz ball <laughs> uh, round. So hopefully this will be pretty easy. All right, let's let's put you all there. We go. Yes. That looks good. I don't think I need to change up any of my text. I think those are probably all good too. All right, and I'm, I don't really care about any of these, like getting new text, I don't really need to worry about it. So I'm just gonna kind of put people on the, to mark the same person that is there, like, thing, except, well, can you, uh, I guess, I guess you can learn Drain Tackle, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Sounds okay, okay, good. Thank you, Koneko. Alright, guys, time for some Blitzball. Can y'all see Lady behind me? Right there, she's sleeping at the end of the bed. Ooh, Rin, you got it. Good job, boy. Alright. Let's, um... Break there, and then we'll pass. We'll do a nap pass. Maybe put the other one to sleep. We're gonna give it to Titus, of course. Yeah, so um, I absolutely love Chinese takeout. I like love, love Chinese takeout. Unfortunately, there is like four or five, I wanna say, Chinese takeout places within kind of my area. All of them suck. They are not good. They Most of their dishes are, are bad um, or the service is bad. Um, I just, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. And it really breaks my heart because I love a good Chinese takeout. It is some of my favorite, favorite fast food. Um, there is one place that's close to us that's tolerable that I will go get pickup from, not delivery, but I will go get pickup from them. And, um, and I can, and we can tolerate it. It's not super horrible, but, uh, for the most part, it's not good. Uh, gonna lurk and work on the RP server since I'm not a coward. That's right, Lunar. Don't, don't be a coward. 
make your server and good luck with it by the way um i'm really excited for you you know and like i said so for for you guys that don't know lunar's friends asked her to to make a server um for an rp that's that's closing so that they can kind of continue their thing and um and i told her that hey if your friends are asking you to do this then you've already tackled one of the biggest hurdles which is having people follow you and, and trust you and want to to join right so they already think you're competent so you know you have you have won half the battle there because your friends already think you're competent um so that's good what's up what's this guy's name bul bulgarda bulgarda your stats are too high your stats are too damn high oh no he was, they were passing to bulgarda i don't know what that albed's dude name dude name is i mean it's an albed model but that's all i could tell you yeah, it is really, it's awful. It's really sad because I love Chinese takeout. And you would think that with as many Chinese takeouts as we have around here, that um, we'd have some good ones. But most of it is really bad. Um, it's sad. It's very sad. Okay, we're just going to try to pass. I don't think this is going to work. Um, we'll do a nap pass. And yeah, we'll give it to Titus. You know my RP's gonna have wolf shifters. Of course it is, Lunar. Would it be a Lunar RP without wolf shifters? I mean, please. <laughs> yeah, you totally got it. You're gonna rock it. Okay. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Titus got it. Good job, Titus. Good, good job. He doesn't have good block, but he did it that time. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. You know, I didn't realize at first with those follower emotes that um, it was going to make it so that, that the follower emotes were special and that you can only use them on that channel. You can't use them outside. Because I'm used to just using my emotes on other people's channels all the time. That's, you know, they're my emotes. I like to use them, so I use them, right? <laughs> um... But, uh, but then one of my good friends in Elixir, Jed, pointed this out and I was like, oh shoot, I have to change all this because I thought, oh, this is so cool. I can have um, all my, my followers just have the raid emote be a follower emote so that everyone can use it and you don't necessarily have to be subscribed to me um, on Twitch to use that. And, uh, and it, wasn't, it wasn't possible. So the raid emote would be totally useless if I said it as a follower emote, which made me really sad for a second. But I fixed it. It's all good now. Oh no! Well, welcome back, Koneko. Don't worry. You didn't miss anything. We have we we have not won. We haven't even gotten to halftime yet. So you're you're good. We're about to, and we're we're ahead. We're just gonna run out the clock here. Follow me, everybody. Come on the train, the choo choo riding, choo choo, choo choo train to zone. Train to zone. Train to zone. Half time. That's right. Half time. Excellent. Gosh, their people are high level. But so are mine, so it's okay. Should be fine now. Internet's just derpy today. Yeah, the internet do be like that sometimes. Oh my god, I had the weirdest thing happen. Speaking of internet derps, I had the weirdest thing happen during a training today that I was running on Zoom. We had a bunch of polls set up for it. And, um, like, we launched the poll, and there was, like, 80-something people in the training. And only, like, five people could see and answer the poll. So I just had to tell them, like, type it in the chat or just pick an answer in your head. We're going to talk about it in a second. It was so awkward. I was so embarrassed. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was just like Zoom messing up. I don't know. I messaged help desk and asked them to please look into it with Zoom, like give Zoom a call and figure out if there's anything, you know, if we need to do an update or something to fix it. Um, so it doesn't happen again, but like I have never had that. So like some people could see the poll, but like most people could not. It was like ridiculous because they were all chatting in. Like as soon as I launched the poll, like they, they waited like a little bit thinking it was going to pop up, I guess. And then it never, it didn't. So like 30 seconds after I launched the poll, all of a sudden the chat just has this flood of messages. Like, I can't see the poll, I can't see the poll, I can't see the poll, no poll, no poll. And I was like, oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> it was ridiculous. So like Zoom, big derp for Zoom. And I've never experienced that before. And of course we've been using Zoom since the beginning of the pandemic for like all of these trainings. So I was like really shocked.
Wow, she swims so slow. Slow lady. Did I not? Now that I'm looking at my thing, I'm wondering if I turned on that community challenge for Doki Doki. I'm gonna check real quick. Wow, not a single one of them got her. That's ridiculous. She's so slow. Get her, guys. Oh, she better not get in. Oh, she's not gonna get in. She's not gonna get in. Good job, Yuma. Good catch. Oh, swim, Titus. I guess we can score again. That's fine. Oh, okay. Two again. So we'll do another deck shot. Man, I've forgotten how much we had leveled up from all of this. We are just, like, destroying. Let me see. Yeah, I never click start. I set this thing up and I never click start. Yes, I want to start the challenge. There we go. <laughs> now the Doki Doki challenge is up. So if y'all um, donate enough, or if y'all you, put in enough of your spell reagents, your channel points into there, then we will stream the last part of Doki Doki Literature Club after we are done and beat Final Fantasy X. We are very, very close to beating Final Fantasy X, I promise, guys. It's I'm probably going to finish it by the end of the year. I don't see why I wouldn't. Hey, thanks, Lunar. I knew you would like that. You're all about them horror games. And you probably know the parts that we haven't played on stream yet, so. Oh, apparently I can contribute to it if I want to. Thank you so much, Kitty. Yeah, you're one of, you're one of the people that messaged me. Y'all, Kitty me Kitty's message was so cute. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sh share it just because I don't want to em embarrass you, but it was so cute. And you were not the only one, Kitty, that had a very sent me a very similar message <laughs> about urging me to finish Toki Doki. <laughs> so it was just really funny to me. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're gonna no break. And we're gonna... Hey, Jane! Welcome in! How's it going? Let's pass over to Waka. Yep, I played it through. Yeah, I figured you would have, so you know. <laughs> I thought it wasn't up because I was mobile. No, I'm just dumb. I set it all up, and I just didn't click the last final button. <laughs> uh, thank you, Koneko. Oh, yeah, so Kitty was basically like... <laughs> Yo, Kitty was basically like, um, I can't play it by myself. I need you to play it on stream. It was like, I can't remember exactly what the message was, but it was something like that. Because I was like, it's a free game, you can just play it yourself if you want to see the rest. And Kitty was like, I cannot do it. I can't do it myself. You have to play it with me. <laughs> it cracked me up. But like I said, you are not the only one. You are not the only one that sent me that kind of message. So it was very funny. Uh, we'll do we'll do a nap shot. He's not going to make it with three blockers, but whatever. I'm a chicken, you have to be brave. Well, apparently if it's if it's a visual novel, I can handle doing the horror game on stream. It's not as big of a deal. I thought about coming back and finish and doing Doki Doki, but I'm going to going with FNAF first. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, Lunar, for for you since you're since you are way more into the horror games, um you probably have seen this, but there's like a paid version of Doki Doki that came out. It's like Doki Doki Literature Club plus it's apparently got a whole bunch of new content like side stories and all kinds of cool stuff so you might be interested in in that as well if you're going to stream doki doki doing the the doki doki literature club plus i don't know um but it definitely seems like your speed because it's a lot it's a lot longer meteor game that's my understanding lots more content uh let's pass over to waka yep it's amazing yeah 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 I mean, I, after playing the, because I've played, I've played through it now. I think I think I've unlocked everything. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I've unlocked everything at this point and at least seen it. Um, and uh, and it makes me intrigued to play, to to get plus and play it. So I think I might do that at some point because I really enjoyed what I have played. Okay, and we win. Good job, everybody. We beat the Luca Goers. Okay, who do we get to play now? Uh, let's continue. Monica's so different in that one. In the plus one, she's super different. That's interesting. Okay, so we're gonna play the Killika Beast. Okay, we... No problem. Easy team. 
Poor Kilika. But it's true. They're not very good. Okay, let's just do marks like this. So we don't really care about learning text anymore. It doesn't really matter. We've got plenty of good text. Done. Yeah, I totally recommend it. Okay. I may, I might have to get it at some point. It just came out this year. Um, it took them a while to make it, so you can tell that they probably put a lot of effort into the additional content. But that's what I assume anyway, with it taking a couple of years, you know. When you play um, Five Nights at Freddy's Lunar, are you going to play like all of them? Or are you just playing the first one for your when you're coming back? When is your first comeback stream, by the way, so I can try my best to be there? Um, okay, we'll do one break and then we'll do a jack shot. Ever popular jack shot. Good job. He thought he was gonna get me with that super goalie rolling higher on his um on his uh keeping ability, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I'm still the best. Nap tackle. Nope. <laughs> I tried. I tried to put Pirate Man to sleep. It didn't happen. How does her hood stay up? Her little hood on her, um, on her thing. Her little hat. That's what I mean to say. Her little hat thing that's tied to her hair. How does that stay in there with the water? I feel like it would come out. Okay. Come, come. And then... Oh, no. Let's just try to pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pass to Titus. Yeah. Okay, let's do another shot. Shot, shot, shot. Shot, 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 shot. Okay. Shoot. Um, I'm gonna do a lore right before the new game comes out, so if I'm coming back December 11th and the new game out, comes out December 16th. Oh, okay. Okay, Lunar, I will do my best to be there. Hopefully the boys are still enamored with the new Call of Duty uh, come December. And, uh, and I should be left alone to be able to, uh, you know, be fully present in your stream. Because I know you stream a little bit later in the day um, when I'm usually hanging out with my husband. But he will probably still be play playing COD at that point. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> he liked it. He, he got it today. And he's playing it. By the way, if y'all hear any, like, boom noises, it's because a new COD came out. And if you remember from around this time last year, uh, when the boys play COD <laughs> at the house... Uh, those explosion sounds, those low explosion sounds, come through on the microphone like nothing else. They can play other games, it's not a problem. Watch movies, it's not a problem. But Call of Duty explosions are just like, boom. And they come through everything. They come through everything. I close the door, um, all that stuff, it comes right through. Um, Peter Pettigrew, oh, <gasps> Kitty, I love Peter. Okay, so Peter is like, he has like a really special place. In my heart, you probably don't know this because you weren't around when I was, when we were doing a lot of um, Marauders role play and stuff. But I absolutely love Peter Pettigrew. He's such a beautiful, tragic figure. Um, I love his story. Um, you know, I, I have, I, I have a lot, I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of sympathy for for Peter and his situation and what he goes through in the series. Okay, let's see what it says. You're someone who's kind of questioning their worldviews at the moment. You see everything as a mix of dark and light and you're just hoping that you're doing the right thing. You're pretty quiet and a lot of people don't really know what to think of you. You're very smart and witty, you have good advice and you're very hardworking and fair. You're probably anxious or have low confidence in yourself. Remember that you are loved and you are capable. Aww. The explanation is sweet. I feel like this person must have a love for Peter Pettigrew the way that I do. <laughs> like, I feel like I would, I ghostwrote that description, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
You can join the server so you know. I think I am in your server, Lunar. I just don't check it very often. I need to turn on um, notifications for it. Do you have like a ping roll that I can turn on so that I can get uh, updates? Just in just the updates or something like that? Because I think I am in your server. I just don't. I just don't check it. You know. All right. No break. We're just gonna pass. Let's pass over to Waka. We've got three points already. So, that's all good. Yeah, they put love into the descriptions. They really did. This person put a lot of love into the descriptions. It's really nice. It was a, That was a good quiz. Um, I never know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I never know because I pick the quizzes um, without doing them. I pick it based on the title and description. So, um, I never know if it's going to be kind of a weird one or a crap one. I feel like that definitely some have been better than others. And this was one of the better ones. Working on a ping roll, and you're on the old one that's gone and not the new one. Oh! Oh, shoot! Well, that's a problem. Um, Lunar, send me an invite to the new one, and I will get my booty in there. Because I was under the impression this whole time that I was still in your server. So, that's my mistake. I didn't realize you would move to a new server. That's what I get for not keeping up. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again. And win this shit. Don't need to worry about text. All those are good. We don't need to change that up. Yes, that's fine. Let's go, 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 go! <clears throat> yeah, send me an invite to the new server and I'll turn on the ping roll as soon as you have it set up and um, that way I know what's up. The old servers when I was working at the clinic and looking at it made me sad and not vote motivated. I needed a clean start. I can totally understand that, Lunar. It, no, you know, there's no no shame in uh, in needing a fresh start. Let's see. We're going to pass over to Titus. Every time I make a new roleplay, I make a new server, you know? Just because, like, even though I could reuse the same server, I wouldn't want to because it would just feel weird. It wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be right. I would know that it used to be something else. Yep, jack shot. Okay, I got your DM. Thank you so much. I will get my booty in there so that I can make sure I'm keeping up with your stream schedule and such. How is the new job going, by the way? I'm sure that, that you must be liking that new schedule. Now that you've got kind of a more regular, like, 9 to 5 schedule, like that to me is like amazing. Um, I After having one, like I could never go back to a variable schedule or, or working nights or things like that. Um, like I, I think about this sometimes, like even if I were someday to work creatively, like if, if I hit it big and was able to stream or, you know, publish books or things like that and make that my career, I would still like make my working hours nine to five. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I wouldn't be streaming in the evening like this. Um, but right now it's a hobby, so it's for fun. But, uh, but when I think about, like, my work, yeah, there's no way. There's no way I would, um, move to a, a work schedule that wasn't, like, a regular 9 to 5 after having one for so long. Alright, let's pass it back over, if he can, even. This pass is so low. I don't think he's going to make it. We're going to pass it over to Jasu. Try to get Jasu some levels. Yeah, I didn't think he would make it. Poor Waka. I've really I've really underleveled poor Waka and Jasu. And just like Nida and Titus on the, the right side instead of the left side. They've kind of like really left those two in the dust. Oh, I didn't get that job. Oh, we got another one next week. 12 to 6, Monday to Friday. They really wanted to give me benefit part-time people don't get so I took the job oh hey that still sounds good though 12 to 6 is a pretty good schedule um you know I wouldn't be mad at that at all that's still really regular and not super late at night like you were doing sometimes at the clinic um okay let's see let's break let's break and then pass 
For some reason, I was under the impression you had got that job, but maybe it was just because the interview had gone so well, and so I was assuming. <laughs> exactly, and I'm working with kids again. Oh, that's fabulous, Lunar. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, uh, let's see. I didn't mean to hit pass, but that's okay. We'll do a pass. We don't really need to score any more points, so it doesn't really matter. Let's pass it over to Rin. But yeah, that schedule sounds way better. And hopefully it'll be like a nicer environment and everything too, and you won't have to be dealing with dickheads like you were at the clinic. Like that one lady. Um, so I think, you know, <laughs> when it comes to like being able to do your hobbies, that's like, a, that's a big thing, right? Like if you're miserable at work, it's really hard when you get home to actually turn your brain off and unwind and enjoy your hobbies. You know what I mean? So... Hopefully this will all, this will resolve all of that. Yeah, less stress, more time for stream and RP. Exactly. Exactly. Oh man, they're all coming for me like a line. They were moving like in a, oh, they're moving back. They're moving back in a line. What's happening? Guys, I'm right here. I have the ball. Don't you want it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're starting the train. Come on the train, the choo-choo right in. Train to zone. Okay, they caught me. No break, we're just gonna pass. We'll do a wither pass. I think the dog wants in. Oh, Walker's actually gonna get it. Yes, he did. Okay, come on, Henry. Time's up. You got it, there's plenty of room. There you go. Hey, girl. You wanna come in? There we go. You can come in. Okay, we won another one, guys. Okay, one more game, and then we've got the Oroch Reels. And what that means is next stream, we'll actually get the Jupiter Sigil, which is the whole thing that we've been building up towards in all of these freaking Blitzball streams. It's going to take four streams to finish it all, but we're going to do it. Okay. Waka's contract. Well, of course I want to renew Waka. Why wouldn't I? Yes. I want to renew everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Nada, of course, I love you. You're my favorite. Yuma, we couldn't win without you. Okay, we're gonna continue. Yeah, you really have, Lunar. You like, re you really deserve the new job. Don't tell me you want right back out after you got let in. No, you just wanna lay over there, okay. I thought she was about to try to go back out right after I'd let her in. All right, here we go. Last game against, let's see. We're playing, oh, Albed Sykes, okay. Here we go. Third verse, same as the first. We don't care about text this time, it's fine. We're good on that, we don't need to worry about text anymore. That's for noobs that can't just win with Titus. But we have Titus, so we can just win, win, win. We don't have to worry about nothing else. Jack shot is the only tech we need. When we win this game, we'll get our off reels. And then we'll go do some more monster capturing, and I'll show off the Oroch reels to you guys so you can see what those are um, when we go do the monster capturing. Okay, let's pass it. Uh, we'll do a normal pass. We don't need the extra points. Over to Titus. And then Jack shot for the win, just like we always do. Just, you know, you just gotta play good. Just gotta play good. Yep, shoot. Ball to the face. The Albed Sykes love balls in the face. It's their favorite. Except the goalie. The goalie doesn't like it for balls to be in his face. So that's why he dodges them and lets me get them in the net. I love Curie's pirate pants. Uh, does the gold background look different? Mm, I don't think so. It looks the same to me. What do you mean, kitty? One side is orange. 
Oh, I'll have to look when it gets close. No, that's how it, that's how it normally looks. That's how the goals normally look. Maybe the graphics glitched out for a second on that previous shot. I was not paying enough attention to tell you. Oh wow, she's got three clingers. All right, let's pass. We gotta get another jack shot. Or we're gonna try to anyway. Wow, Zazzy, you're not allowed to be that good at catching. One is, one is blue and one is orange. I don't think I ever noticed. No, that's normal. Yeah, uh, one side's the blue side, one side's the orange side. We always have the goal that's orange for whatever reason. Um, the game doesn't have in it like you know us being the home team versus the away team. We're just always on that side. It's not programmed any other way. I guess that was easier. They, they only have one stadium after all, so it's not like you can really have like home games and away games. You play all, every Blitzball game in Luka, period. They do not have a stadium system. Follow me, guys. Mm, yep, we'll break and pass over to Titus. Oh, we actually got a tech copy. Oh, for Yuma. Okay, well, she won't ever use that, but that's okay. Take the ball back, Nada. Good job. Oh my gosh. Getting in my face over and over. Okay, but he didn't get it that time. Alright, good job. Now we're gonna jack shot again. They pretty much never score anymore, you guys noticed that. <laughs> so there is hope. If you're playing this game, um, you know, if you've been inspired to play it because you've been watching my playthrough and uh, and you get to this part of the game where you're playing lots of Blitzball, if you just keep playing, eventually you will level up so high that nothing else matters because it's literally just about the numbers. There is no skill involved in Blitzball. You know how, like, they'll say, there's no crying in baseball? Well, there's no skill in Blitzball. Alright, weather tackle. Reed, did you come in here to lick yourself? I hopefully you guys can't hear that. It sounds really gross. Hopefully the microphone's not picking it up. If it is, I apologize. <laughs> uh, but I guess the, the air has really got her dried out or something. She came in here just to lick herself very loudly. I don't hear it. Oh, good. I'm glad you don't hear it, Kitty. I can hear it. <laughs> but I'm used to it. If it's not coming through on the, on the microphone, then it's fine. My dog makes horrible slurp when she licks. Sometimes it wakes me up. Oh my god, that's how my dog is too. She, I feel like she is the loudest licker on the entire freaking planet. Um, so I'm comforted to hear that it is not just my dog, that your dog is also the loudest licker on the entire planet. Oh, she stopped finally. Thank God. Sometimes she really gets going and she'll just go and go and go and go and go. And yeah, sometimes it can wake me up too. It gets that bad. Well, we can't do that. Can't break, so we'll just shoot. We'll do a wither shot. Uh, he's not gonna make it. Yep. Oh well, we tried. It's about to be halftime anyways. <laughs> A fumble right at halftime. Wow, the ball just floats back up when that happens. I don't think I've ever seen the animation hit like that before. That's funny. <clears throat> Yuma. Learn Venom Tackle too. Okay, that's good. Alright. Yes. And we're gonna keep the same text. We're gonna keep the same marks. Don't need to change any of that. Yes. And we're gonna win. The helmet's pretty cool. Looks like Robocop. Yeah, that helmet does look like Robocop. I know which one you're talking about. 
so I've got another another fast food recommendation um, since we were talking about Chinese uh, food earlier we uh, well my husband today went to run some errands and he came back with that hottie sandwich um, that we've been seeing advertised from I think it's from Popeyes it's, it's a chicken sandwich with like um, some sweet and sour like hot sauce anyway y'all that sauce is amazing and the sandwich is real good so if you get a chance to try it you definitely should try it um, I really enjoyed it the only thing that I will say is that it was very heavy um, I normally wouldn't eat like that huge amount of food for lunch and I was actually really super full so I was barely able to eat my dinner sadly <laughs> um, but it was really good the sandwich was really good I would recommend trying it but make sure that you're really hungry when you try it and um, and that it's not too close to dinner time or something else like that because it'll keep you full for like the whole rest of the day um, <laughs> it definitely did for me anyway you guys have seen it advertised and it looked good. Yeah, it is good. It is as good as it looks. Um, I was pretty impressed with it. The chicken was good. I Mine had at least, anyway, I, I don't, I'm sure they're not all like this, but mine at least had a pretty thick piece of chicken on there. And it was well fried. It was nice and crispy. And, um, and I enjoyed the sauce. It was good. It was kind of like a mix of a sweet and sour sauce and like, um, you know, a, a, a chili uh, type of hot sauce. It was good. I thought it was going to taste just like, like looking at it, I thought it was just going to taste like, a, um, you know, like sweet, sweet chili sauces that you'll get uh, from wing places or stuff like that. But it was actually way better than that. It wasn't just like a, you know, Thai sweet chili sauce in a jar type of flavor. There was, um, it was a lot more complex as far as the hot sauce part goes. Popeye's is the best chicken sandwich, period. Um, I don't know about that. I'm a huge Chick-fil-A sandwich fan. Sorry. I know they're like super bigoted or whatever, but... Um, I guess that's why the chicken tastes so good is because it's made with all that hate, but, uh, sorry, that's my preference. That's what I like. Uh, but I do like the Popeye's one and it is one of the chicken sandwiches that my husband and I can agree on liking. He is not a, um, a, uh, Chick-fil-A fan. He thinks their food is soggy and boring, <laughs> but we both like Popeye's. So when we get chicken sandwiches, we can get them from Popeye's and be happy. Hater chicken. It is hater chicken. It is hater chicken. But that's what makes it so tasty, I believe. Um, they fill it with hate. And uh, and then it's delicious. Oh, man. Poor Waka. Can't pass for shit. Soggy and boring is me. <laughs> well, obviously, I like soggy and boring. Um, but that's what he says for uh, Chick-fil-A. Alright. Let's just... Let's do a nap pass. Hey, Kendra's mom! There was a recipe floating around Tumblr on how to make chicken sandwiches taste the way Chick-fil-A sandwiches taste. Oh, that's interesting. Is it kind of like make your own so that you don't have to spend money at hateful Chick-fil-A? Um, as a teen, I worked next door to a Chick-fil-A, and we used to trade services, food between employees. I can't eat it anymore. It was all I ate. <laughs> I totally understand that, Kitty. Sometimes, whenever we, um... Whenever you have food too often, then you can't eat it anymore if it's not like a real, true favorite food, you know? Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, cool Mr. Karen. Hey, Kendra's mom! Is, uh, is Kendra- Kendra, is your mom watching the stream over your shoulder? Is that what's happening here? Or are you just saying, like, Hi, mom. She waved at you. Not super clear on how to use the chat, but she says hi. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, she can figure it out in time. There's no rush or anything. Um, boomers are welcome, you know, here. I'm, I, I'm, I'm happy to have anybody. Yeah, it is very cute when moms say hi. Let's see, we'll go ahead and shoot. Uh, my parents were very surprised that y'all enjoyed their appearance on the stream, by the way. They were like, oh, really? Well, I don't really know. And it's like, no, they really did like it. I tried to explain it to them and how to, like, see the chat or whatever. They didn't quite understand. <laughs> I tried to tell them it's kind of like, you know how when we were kids, one of us would play the game and everybody else would watch? It's like that, but you do it online. And, like, they understood that conceptually, but I think for them there's, like, too much going on in the screen and they don't really understand everything that they're looking at, you know? Talk to the chat, Karen. Mom, she's doing it. I am talking to the chat. 
<laughs> Who else would I be talking to? <laughs> oh, fumble. Good job, Waka. It doesn't really matter, though. We have won this game. We don't need to do anything else. We'll just try to shoot, but I don't think he's gonna make it with four blockers. I just told mom that two minutes ago. <laughs> uh, Kendra, your mom's awesome. I know your mom's awesome because she, she even followed your stream, which is like the awesome mom thing to do. Ooh, Waka got a new text slot, that's awesome. She keeps responding like she's on the phone with you, it's amazing. <laughs> sure, we are on the phone, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly how this works, I can hear you. I can hear all of you talking in my ear right now. Sometimes it's a little confusing to pick out specific voices, but um, that's totally how it works. Okay, we win, Oroch Reels, yeah, and Titus is the top scorer. Oh, we got an achievement, Blitzball Master, in Steam. I don't know what that achievement is, but we got it. Oh, yes, I would like to renew contracts. Okay, so we are one step closer. One step closer. <gasps> oh, gosh. The dog just shook my whole screen. Um, my whole desk. We are one step closer to getting uh, the, um, the Jupiter Sigil. So the Jupiter Sigil is a league prize. You can see it's not on here, of course. So um, what we, we have to do is I'll probably have to play through this league off stream to get the Jupiter Sigil prize to pop up so that next week we can actually get the Jupiter Sigil. Um, and I'll probably play a couple of the league games to start because we can't finish a whole league in one stream, just like we did the last stream where we had to get the league prize. So that's that about that. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to capture the last four ghosts we need to capture. While I read what y'all are talking about in the chat. Now she thinks, Mr. Jane always thinks I'm on Discord call with Karen on stream. Like, Mr. Jane, please, I'm viewing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um... <laughs> I mean, you are on the call sometimes, but only if it's a group game. Only certain games. Um, tell a good story, Kendra's mom. Yeah. I want to hear a Kendra's mom story. I'll be right back. Capture ghosts. Yeah, we're gonna capture the last... We still need four ghosts, so we're gonna try to get them. <clears throat> we don't need any of the rest of this stuff out of here. Literally just the ghosts. So easy on you next time. But they're a rare spawn. It's very annoying. And I don't think I have a very good seed for getting ghosts. Um, I think I've explained this before, but just in case. The way that the random encounters... Well, lots of things... Lots I'll of the randomization like in this game is built off of a whatever seed that you get when you when you start the game. So I just I think I just don't have a very good seed for capturing ghosts. Cause they seem to be very, very rare for me. Live and let live. She's talking about the time I was super constipated as a four year old. It's not fun. <laughs> tell just tell your mom she does she can't talk. She's gotta type it. <laughs> tell her it's like texting. Maybe that'll make sense. It's like she's she's texting with me. Right Only I'm not texting like I'm doing the voice. <laughs> when there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Have y'all seen the trailer for the new Ghostbusters that's coming out? Y'all looks really good. I'm excited for it. Um, I think it's gonna be really awesome. At least the trailer looks really awesome. Oh, we're at the end now. I have not, but I love the last one. Kitty, you've got to watch the trailer. You've got to go watch the trailer for the, right the latest back. one that's going to come out. It uh, it looks really good. I never watched the last one, the all-female one that they made. Um, I don't know. It just Nothing about it really grabbed me, so I just never got around to watching it. I heard super mixed things, of course. Aha! A ghost! I found you! Okay. So, let's do... Yeah, let's do Titus's overdrive, and we'll do Waka's overdrive as well. Alright. Oh, we gotta build it up. Yeah! Oh, he can't damage this one. 
Okay. Okay, you can go back now, Bree. You're all in here all of five minutes, so now you're done with me. I understand. Okay. Alright, what were we doing? Oh yeah, I need to switch in one of the ladies so that I can see... Okay, so lightning and ice. Alright. So yeah, let's bring Orin in. <laughs> uh, and then let's bring in lightning. Doom. Thank you so much, Kendra, for contributing to uh, the Doki Doki Literature Club. I think you weren't here for the beginning, but after we beat Final Fantasy X, uh, Doki Doki will be our next stream um, that we do. Yeah, let's steal. Uh, we'll finish it, basically. We'll finish the game. It won't be... The third part three won't be a blind stream, of course, because I've played through the game now, but um, you guys will still get a chance to um, see the rest of it. And she wants back in. I actually am out of... No, I'm not. I thought I was out of water. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay. Come back in. I think Regis wanted water, too. Okay, let's find another ghost. Alright. Here was a good little spot, so we're just gonna run back and forth along this little path here, since that's where one popped up. Hopefully one will pop up again! When you hear a tale, and it don't sound true, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I, won't go so easy on you next I have a box of wine, but no cups. I'm gonna just put it up high and turn the tap over my mouth. <laughs> Kitty, that is exactly what I would do. Good strat. Um, pro strat. Uh... Lots, lots of wine will be consumed. <laughs> I'll be right back. Kendra's mom here. You are so talented. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Kendra's mom. I really appreciate it. Let's see. Swap. Go walk back in the party. You can chat and play and drink water. <laughs> Of course, I can do all the things at the same time. Live and let live. Can really only do that because I know this game super well. Kendra's mom, have you watched um, Kendra's streams where she does the uh, does Crusader Kings? Because she can do all of that stuff too. Only she's way funnier than I am. She knows every single thing about this game. I feel like it sometimes. I think there's probably maybe about half a dozen people in this world that know more about this game than me. One of them being um, Dan Sko, I think is how you say his name, on uh, on YouTube. And another one being the P. Birdman, who made the harder, more challenging mod for Final Fantasy X. So there's definitely some people that know more about Final Fantasy X than me that are like really, really deep into it. I but so um, but I do time. think I'm, I'm pretty... I'm pretty close up there with the amount of knowledge uh, of those guys. I'm like, like the next tier underneath those like super hardcore, probably. How long do you play? Uh, I usually stream for about two hours. So I started about 6.30 and it's 7.30 now. So we'll play for about another hour. I'm, try I'm trying to finish up this monster capturing quest. So hopefully we'll be able to make some good progress on that before the end of the stream. I don't really get it, but I did just watch her play Nintendo Mario. Yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, it's just like when you watched her play Nintendo, you can watch people play on here. But it's not just Kendra. There's all there's lots of people. So right you have a particular kind of game you like to watch or things like that. And then it's not just games. Like, people get on here and do all kinds of stuff. Like, people get on here and do, like, they'll, like, do arts and crafts tutorials. So if you, like, you know, if you want to watch, like, um a sewing tutorial or like a crafting tutorial yeah or like I've, I've done manicures before on here um you can do people get on here and do tarot readings that's definitely something I've seen people do um or some people get on here and just like talk some people get on here and just like you know they just hang out like if you get if you get really popular 
then uh, then you can even do that. You can just log on and just people will just want to talk to you, and you don't even have to like be playing a game or doing anything at the same time if you don't want to. But that's really only certain kinds of streamers. Oh wow, it almost killed Titus. Don't kill Titus. Don't kill Titus. I gotta run away with Titus. Okay, yes. Let's flee. So easy on you next time. TikTok style cooking shows and crafts. Yes, there are people that do cooking too. That's like a whole thing as well. Um, they'll come on here and, and do that. So it's not just video games, even though video games is definitely the main thing. There is a lot of stuff people will come on and, and live stream, so. You want out, lady? Go on in. Live and let live! There we go. Someday I'll get to go back to cracking the door when they're done with COD. People do music too. I watch 8-Bit Drummer a lot. Oh yeah, that's true. I've seen that as well. People get on here and DJ, or they'll like play guitar or play piano or whatever. Um, I've seen a lot of that too. Do you get money for this? Yes, I can. Um, ads will play at the beginning, and I'll get like little, little bit of money for that. Very super small amount. But you can subscribe, which means you pay a monthly fee, to, and half of that coat goes to me and half of that goes to Twitch, and uh, that will mean that you don't get ads for my particular stream if you want to. You can also just give me money if you want to do that. That is called bits, so you can buy bits from Twitch and then you give me the bits and that's just literally like, it's like a tip, it's like putting in, it's like putting dollars in, into my tip jar. So yes. The door is gonna drive me crazy today. It's gonna it's gonna drive me absolutely crazy, you guys. These animals. I didn't know that's what bits was, that's good to know. Yep. When you get the bits, um, when you get bits and you spend and you spend the bits on me, then I get a hundred percent of that money. So it's not like a subscription where I'm getting only half of it and Twitch is getting half of it. I get all of the bits. I'll be right back. So if you ever want to like support a streamer, giving a lot of bits is is the best way to do that. I mean, you can of course, um, you can of course like do a bunch of gift subs, and a lot of people will do that. But at a certain point, if you really want to give a streamer a lot of money, um, doing a ton, a ton of gift subs, it has other implications and it can be kind of weird. Um, so what right is preferable is to give give bits if you really want to give like a, a big tip or a big donation. Does that work for sounds that we pay bits to play? Yes. Yes, I get the money from that. So like when you when you spend like 10 bits on the sound, then I get that whole 10 cents. Okay, let's get one of our ladies in here to see what he is weak to. Okay. Only, oh, only fire will, won't work. These ghosts hate fire. Okay, so we can do electric, ice, and then water, kind of, sort of. All right. Well, let's get our ice boy in here. And then let's put Titus back in. Hey, Eliza! Tell Eliza she's my favorite. And she's awesome! And did you tell Eliza that you have cats at home? I know she was trying to get more cats at home, but like, did you did you tell her you have cats at home already? <laughs> did it work? Alright, two more ghosts. No time to waste. Got two, go. we need two more. Oh my god, I'm just gonna have to crack the door. And y'all are just gonna have to deal with hearing the boom booms from COD. These animals just cannot stand the door being closed. They just can't stand it. They can't tolerate it. So if y'all hear extra boom booms from the from the boys playing COD, then that's just gonna have to be how it is. She asked for the cats while we were at home. Oh, well you have to tell her that you already have cats. <laughs> I made the mistake of taking my kids with me to PetSmart and they saw the kittens. <laughs> Begging was real with kittens are right there. I understand, I totally understand. <laughs> but they only stay kittens for a little bit, and then they're then they're cats. 
and you have to deal with that. Live and let live. <clears throat> they don't stay kittens forever. Yeah, this strip is actually doing us not too bad. I mean, it's taking a while, but I feel like it's not taking forever to find ghosts. And I probably just cursed myself, and the next two ghosts that I need will take forever to find. Cats are just big kittens. Somewhat. <laughs> I definitely think cats mellow out as they get older. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright, so... Water. Oh, we really need water and no ice. Alright. Bring Titus back. We definitely need to do a Titus attack. And then let's get Waka in here. I'm a buff? What's a buff? Did, did I say that? Did I, did I cut myself off from a word I was saying and accidentally just say buff? Is that what happened here? I don't remember saying that, but that sounds like something I would do. You are. I have no idea. This is what she just said to describe one of the kittens at the store. Oh, so the kitten was buff. Well, kittens do have a lot of energy, so they might be. Alright, we have one more ghost that we need to get. And then we can go back to Xanarkand and finish the monster capturing that we have there, because we still need several more Grendels, some Dark Plants, some Mandragoras, and some Behemoths. Live and let live. So maybe we will actually finish up. Maybe we'll actually make really good monster capturing progress this stream. That's what I really wanted to do, because I was thinking, like, if we can do the Oroch Reels, because it's just the tournament, it won't take as long. And then we can do... Um, I'll be right back. And then we can do uh, the monster capturing, and then next stream we'll do the Jupiter Sigil League. That would be, like, really awesome. Because we won't have much time for monster capturing after we do the League games for next stream. And there we go! Last ghost! Fabulous! Okay, that that little path was... That little path was the ticket. That little path was the ticket. Okay. Let's find out what his weaknesses are. If you say so! I do say so, Riku. Okay, we need lightning and fire. Alright. Uh, I guess you can just steal then. Because it's already just these two. I guess you can attack. No, you won't do much. Thank you for the lurk, Kendra. We love our lurkers here. Happy to have you hanging out. Oh, I was hoping to kill him before the sound effect ended. I was close. One more turn. Yeah, good for the ghost. Bye, ghost. It's okay. We're done with our reign of terror on the ghosts now. We can leave them alone. So we'll go back out of here. And um, we'll go over to Xanarkand. Oh, no, 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 no. No, fuck you. I can't believe I preemptive on these guys. Go away, don't you dare. Oh, they all fired. Thank god. They didn't fall in me. Okay, go run away. On you next time. Yeah, very pretty annoying. Okay, we never have to come back here again. We're all done with this area. Alright, let's go ahead and save. So we don't lose any of this progress and then we will go up to the airship yeah fudge that place let's get out of there the final show all right sin we're coming for you soon don't worry all right let's go to xanarkin ruins yes here we go so we need five Grendels, two Dark Flans, four Mandragoras, and two Behemoths. Let's see what we can do. We're just gonna run along this area. And there's one. 
behemoth. And hopefully Waka's um, thing will fill up so that we can show off his Orok reels. Jeez, that almost killed me. Don't worry, Behemoth, you're gonna die soon. I'm good, yeah? You are good, Waka. Thanks for playing. I feel like he's a pass for me, but I can't put a figure out what makes me a, makes it a pass. Totally disagree, Kitty. Behemoth is definitely a smash for me, so can't relate. Sorry. I don't think I need either of these guys. Bashiras and Aramans, yeah, I'm I'm good on those. I'll be right back. It's been so long since we took that break, that Final Fantasy plate break, and we're playing Doki Doki. Um, it took so long, I couldn't remember for sure. But I think we need the Grendel, the four-legged horn guy. Oh, there's our last behemoth. We only need one more of those. Hua. All right, I should probably heal Titus. <laughs> His health is pretty low. Being kind of risky not doing that, okay. All right. So we just need then Grendel's Dark Plants and Mandragoras. Don't need more behemoths. I guess those are kind of common for me. For me. Go so easy on you next time. It might also benefit us to run up, back up to the Mount Gagazet Caves area. Oh, there's a Mandragora! Alright, let's bring in Kamari. We don't want to attack the Mandragora with water. Hopefully we can kill it before it bad breaths. Well, that 9999 certainly helps. I like the festive hula skirt. No Me too! To waste. Let's go. I heard the chime of somebody getting a new um, overdrive thing, but I didn't read it quick enough. I was looking at the chat. So I'm not sure what it said, but I know I got a new overdrive mode of something. <laughs> All right, come here, come back, Titus. No problem. Don't yeah, we have right to run back. away. Yeah, I like I like the Mandragora um, models too. I think they look cool. Oh, I think that's the Grendel. Yes. I don't need that Araman, but that's okay. Let's do. I don't know, let's do an armor break on him. I think that's what I need to do. I know they benefit greatly from doing an. Yeah, armor break. Maybe it's a power break that they benefit greatly from? No, it is an armor break. Booyah! Booyah! There we go, Grendel captured. Alright, I hope they sleep well, kitty. And no, let's run back. We'll just run back the same way. Just running down the path did us pretty good. Got us our last two behemoths, a mandragora and a grendel. Ooh, and a dark flan. We need that. Um, let's do... Let's haste Orin so we can try to get the break faster. Oh, his overdrive. <gasps> okay, here we go. We're going to show off the Orok reels. So the Orok reels are a bit different. You're trying to get these guys. Haha, -ha, I did it. And the other things on there are like totally random, but this is what you're trying to get. That's what it looks like. So very fun. All right, let's do an armor break for him.
Yeah. And we know he's about to die because he's trying to heal himself. Alright, so now we only need one more Dark Flan. I feel like I'm going to get down to the Mandragoras and Grendels. That's going to be the last ones. Nope, don't need any of those guys. I won't go so easy on you next time. <clears throat> hey Oreo, what's up? I'll be right back. You gonna give me some good luck to find the monsters I need to find? Help me find some Grendels? I think those are pretty rare for me for some reason on this seed. Behemoths are definitely right not back. rare. So one thing that I missed um, while I was gone staying at my parents' house, I can't remember if I told you guys, but Oreo finally got his snips. We still need to get snips for Lady. Um, that has not been scheduled yet. They were full up on appointments at the the clinic for doing girls but um we were able to get oreo his appointment and got that all done and so he is fixed now and it has totally stopped the humping thank god uh, i know you guys had told me that uh he might still do some of that afterwards but he hasn't so that behavior is totally cut out he's done with it um he's moved on so i've been really really pleased with that um not that he would hurt her anymore, of course, after he's uh, been snipped, but, you know, it's still unbecoming. It's still not cute to look at. So, no more humping. It's been really good. So, that will never happen on screen again. <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't have Titus in. I thought I was on Titus, but he's not in. No problem. There we go. Um, he, he does still, though, do kind of the tail twitching. You know how when, when male cats are about to spray, they do, like, this weird twitchy thing with their tail? He still does the twitchy thing, but doesn't he doesn't try to spray. But, uh, so that's weird. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but he hasn't actually tried to spray, so it's not a big deal. I'm glad he calmed down. Should help his health, too. Absolutely. I mean, we're still gonna get Lady fixed, of course, at some point. Um, because I definitely don't want to deal with a cat going through heat. Um, but it's not, it's not as imperative now, you know, the, there are, there are no, uh, crises no coming. <laughs> so it's just kind of like a thing on the to-do list of eventually we have to get Lady fixed too. Um, the twitchy tail is a thing that happens, milk cats just do that even if they're fixed. Oh, I see. Dang it. They all got, got got. Okay, come here, Yuna. As soon as I'm back to health. Are you darkness? No? Okay. No time to waste. Let's go. Well, hopefully he doesn't start spraying. I mean, if he's fixed, like, can he? Yeah, I guess he could still spray. Um, but I just would assume that they wouldn't want to, you know? <laughs> They wouldn't feel that way if they're fixed, so we haven't had issues with him actually spraying. I can't remember if I marked that Mandragora off or not, so I, I don't know if I have only one more Mandragora or two more. Okay, let's do a little change of scenery. We're going to go to Gagazette, and we're going to go up to the cave area, try to get some Mandragoras and Grendels. Near Xanarkin Ruins? Oh no, that's back to where I was. I meant to do Cave Exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. We'll do cave exit. So I need to find a good spot for the Grendels. Let's see if we run down the cave stairs what comes up. Oh, there's a Grendel! Exactly what I needed! Fabulous! Armor break. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Yes.
We're getting very close. We need three more Grendels, one more Dark Flan, and I can't remember if I counted correctly on the Mandragores, so we need either one or two Mandragores, I'm not sure. <laughs> I messed, I was just busy chit-chatting, and uh, not sure if I marked off one of them. Oh good, another Grendel. Okay, this was a good idea. Hopefully we'll get them all just running down the stairs here. Do another armor break. We can kill him quickly. Killing him quickly with my sword. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the raid, Mackle Max. Um, Jane, if you're still in the chat, or I think Kitty's probably still putting her kids to bed. Um, Jane, could you do an exclamation SO shout out for Mackle Max? Please. Yeah. What were you streaming, Mackle Max? How'd it go? And welcome in, raiders. Uh, my name is Karen Terry, by the way. I'm trying to get better at, at doing this. Uh, my name is Karen Terry. I am a variety streamer. Um, Thursday nights is my By Myself show where we stream like games that I like. Um, Final Fantasy X has been a big focus of that. And um, on, on Saturdays, though, I do a group stream that's usually me and Landon. Sometimes it's also friends. Like, that's where we have our community days. But the important thing about that stream is that it's also where we do kind of like our deep dive media analysis. Um, so we'll like analyze books or TV shows or movies or things like that. And it's uh, it's me and Landon that, uh, that do that. So that is the big draw of my channel there. So if you're interested in media analysis, make sure that you come by on Saturdays, noon to two Eastern time. Um, to get you some of that. Okay, that's the last dark plan we need there. And then let's do an armor break. Awesome. Yeah, we're doing... The next one that we're doing is... I'll keep shaking my desk. Um, the next one that we're doing is not this coming Saturday, but the next Saturday we're going to be talking about Cowboy Bebop, the original cartoon, uh, getting ready for the live action version to come out on Netflix. So I wanted to talk about the original, so we're going to be doing that Saturday after next. It's going to be really super fun. I cannot wait to share that with some of you guys, because I know not all of my friends are into anime, so some of y'all haven't seen it, don't know about it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you all about it. And uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna want to watch it. I know you will. All right, that's all the dark plans we need. Now we just need some more Grendels and Mandragora. Okay, now that I'm not fighting anymore, I will do the shout out. Maclemax, there we go. Uh, Pokemon. Oh, so you're playing some more Sword and Shield. What part of the, the game are you guys on? I feel like Macklemax streams Pokemon a lot, by the way, guys. Um, so if you're interested in Pokemon streams, check out Macklemax. I do see that a lot on his channel. Alright, we're going to try to get the two more Grendels from here. Because we did good running down these stairs, getting them to pop up. Not you guys. I don't need the you guys. Little owl bed things. Boop, boop, down the stairs. Nope. Back up the stairs. The, these caves, the Gagazette Caves, are, in my opinion, some of the most beautiful parts of the game. I just, I love the color palette in this area, especially in the underwater. I know we already finished all the underwater monster capturing, so we're not going there this stream. But you can kind of see it in that corner there. It's just so beautiful. Live and let live! Live and let live. That's right, I already have enough behemoths, so I don't need to kill you. Because I can't go put you in this man's menagerie anyway. He'll only take ten, and he already has ten. I'll be right back. We will not be right back, Titus. I don't know why you're lying to them. There's another Grendel. That's what we like to see.
I'm gonna be heading out. Sleepy time for me. All right. Have a good sleep, Koneko. I will see you later. Enough. Enough. Okay, we only need one more Grendel. And then we'll need to get some more Mandragora. Oh! Well, here we go! And I don't know if this is the last Mandragora, if we need one more after this. So we'll have to check on that. But this might be the last one that we need. Oh, fucking Ochu Dance, of course! I couldn't kill it fast enough. Alright, let's... Asuna. Mm, no, let's bring Riku in and steal. I'll take care of him. And then we can bring Orin back. And I guess he can just he can just chill. Because he can't do anything anyway. No sweat. Alright. I think I might need one more Mandragora. We're gonna try to find one more just in case anyway. Nope, I meant to also change their formation. Okay, ladies, now let's get in formation. Prove to me you've got some coordination. You're not a Grendel. Live and let live. They hit so hard, these guys, the behemoths. Live and let live. <laughs> I mean, not behemoths, Bashuras, that's what those guys are called. They punch too much. Oh, okay. We'll find out if we need another Mandragora now. This is definitely the last one, if the other one wasn't. Come on, let's get some good crits. Kill it fast. Yeah, okay. So the last one was the last one. Okay, so we don't need any more Mandragoras for sure. So I think we just need one more Grendel. And then we'll have done all of the um, monster capturing in all of the areas that we've unlocked so far. So that's awesome. Did it earlier than I thought we would. Unless this last Grendel is particularly elusive. <laughs> oh, that's not Titus. Come here, Titus. We gotta run away. Live and let live! You're also not a Grendel. That will go so easy on you next time. <laughs> that will go so easy on you next time. Come on, just one more. Just one more. Nope, not you. I will go so easy on you next time. Okay, we have 30 minutes. We'll definitely find one more in 30 minutes. There's no way we won't. We found so many others so on these stairs. You say so. Yes, let's walk all the way up to the save point. We haven't done that in a second. Maybe there will be one on this little path. Oh, don't flare me! Wow! Oh my gosh. Ruining all my plans to run away.
There we go. So easy on you next time. That was rude of him. Just to kill me like that. what I ever do to him? All I did was, like, pop up in his face. That's not a crime. I'm allowed to be here. I'll be right back. I knew it was going to be the Grendels. I don't feel like the Grendels are a rare enemy, but for some reason on me on this playthrough, I just don't see them very often. Live and let live. Must have gotten a bad seed for them. Oh, Yuna got to go first for some reason. I guess her speed is... Higher? Titus' so speed of Rome is definitely time. higher, but maybe hers is close to it or something. Haha, -ha, there's one. Last of the Grendels. Alright, come here, Waka. Get that Araman out the way. I always go to special for the breaks instead of skill. It's a skill. Yeah! Yeah! No sweat. No sweat. Okay. There's a save point down there. Let's walk down to that. I'll be right back. Let's see. And I don't think there's a way on this that I can keep refreshing to get different prizes for the league. Like I think this is this is the prizes and I have to play through this league. Like I'm pretty sure that's how it works, but I'm just going to cancel out of it a few times and just see if it'll randomize it, because I haven't started playing that league. Yes, I want to overwrite. Yeah, it still says Underdog Secret. I think that's all it's going to say. Alright, let's try one more time. If it's possible to refresh it, it should do it after four times for sure. Yeah, because the tournament popped up. And I know that I can make the tournament appear and disappear by just going into it over and over. But yeah, the league's not changing. Okay, well, let's do our sphere grid. Baka got a lot of levels. Okay. Now Orin can flee too, that'll be useful. learning magic. Okay, and I was taking you the backwards. Yes, that's fine. Okay. So, the next thing that we need to do is I need to play through this tournament, but 
I'll do that off stream. So I'll play through this tournament off stream and then I'll get the next tournament started. And the next time when we come back to Final Fantasy X, we will be doing this league and it will say Jupiter Sigil for the first place prize. And we will get it and then we will finally be finished with Waka's ultimate weapon. The longest freaking ultimate weapon in the whole game. <laughs> it's ridiculous how long it takes to get his freaking ultimate weapon. Okay. So let's cancel that. We'll go ahead and save. Yes. Okay. Let's switch back. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me on the stream. Oop. Hush up, Final Fantasy. I do things just like every other streamer does. You know how it works. Um, if you want to support me, uh, you can subscribe to my Twitch. Um, I've got a YouTube channel where I put all my VODs. Um, you know, I have a, a Twitter where I post all of that thing. You, y'all know how it works. Y'all know how it works. Okay. Let's go find somebody to raid. I think I know who I want to raid, but I just want to make sure that they're still alive. Yes, he's still alive. Okay. Let's make sure that he's streaming right now. Okay, yes, he's doing Minecraft. Okay, so guys, it is the Unfitting Key's birthday. So we're gonna raid into the Unfitting Key and we're gonna give him a big ol' happy birthday. So when we raid in, say happy birthday. All right, guys, here we go in just a few seconds. Again, it is the Unfitting Key's birthday. Tell him happy birthday. He's a very entertaining streamer. I would also recommend you guys give him a follow. Um, he's great. He's also in Elixir as well. I fixed the typo in this. So now it will actually send you to, oh, there we go. Um, so you can join Elixir too if you want to. That is Moist Goat's uh, Twitch networking server. It's full of really cool people. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to raid into the unfitting key, and um, I will see you guys next week for more Final Fantasy X and also on Saturday to talk all about the Marauders. All right, bye, guys. See you later.